Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, so just wanted to go over real quick um, the uh, assistive touch in uh, on the iPhone 10 in particular um, because it's a little bit different than um, in traditional iPhones and iPads. So uh, you access it pretty much the same way. So you go to your settings here and then you're going to go to general accessibility and then scroll down a little bit and you'll see the assistive touch option. So when you go in here, you have the option to turn it on, uh, to customize some of your menus, and then you actually have uh, different options for custom actions. So you can actually have it open the menu if you just tap it, or you can actually use it as a home button. So instead of using the gestures, you can actually use this as a home button replacement, which is kind of interesting. So uh, if you've used the iPhone 10 or you've tried it out, you know that you have gestures and you have that line at the bottom here and so in order to go home you swipe up and then when you want to go to your multitasking while you're in an app you hold when you swipe up and then your apps will come up um, you also know that you have instead of control center being at the bottom it's now at the top where you swipe up from the right uh, so this is pretty nice that you have uh, an option to go back to a somewhat traditional iphone experience with a new iphone so, um, uh, the other, uh, the other difference you'll notice is that, uh, on the iPhone 10, rather than it being square with a circle in it, it's actually just a circle. And just like before, you can actually, uh, change the opacity of the button itself. So you can change it to be darker or lighter to go with whatever you're doing. You can also move it anywhere you want on your screen just like before so it's uh pretty pretty similar to it you know before um just a little bit different now you also have some double tap options so you have double tap timeout which will do other you know you can double tap for home uh for siri control center all these different options so it's very um it's pretty you know lots of stuff lots of options there um you also have 3d touch so uh, in this instance, as it default, the 3D touch actually is the home uh, button. So I'll show you uh, real quick how that works. So if you tap it, you get the options. Uh, so here's the menu. You get your notifications. You get your device options, such as locking the screen, volume up, volume down, unmute more, volume up, volume down, unmute more. And then you have your multitasking menu. You can take a screenshot from this. You have your SOS, restart reachability, uh, etc. So if I go back here, now if you use 3D touch, if you 3D touch the, uh, the reach of, or the icon, it'll actually show a little bit that you're 3D touching it and then it goes home. And if you double, t double 3D touch it, that should bring up there we go. So that should bring up the multitasking menu. Now this is customizable, so it's really nice. So if you wanted it to just do Siri, for instance, if I now if I 3D touch it, um, so and and like I said, you can pretty much have it do any of these options, which is really nice and uh, really customizable. So. You know, I'm not sure if this would be helpful. Uh, this would be helpful, you know, if, if you need it or if it's uh, if you have a broken button, that kind of thing. But um, I think it's pretty nice. And it, I mean, honestly, you can actually put the button right where the home button used to be. And you kind of go back to that traditional iPhone experience. Um, so that's just a quick look at the uh, assistive touch in the iPhone 10 in particular. And if you guys have any questions where you want to show you anything in particular as far as this is, con uh, this is concerned or any other feature of the iPhone 10, um, just leave me a comment below and uh, I'll do my best to um, respond and uh, possibly make another video. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one. See you in the next one.